Hi everyone, this is Mariana, trainer and technical documentation developer at In-House Solutions. I'm here with Mastercam Quick Tip of the Day. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a tool from a step file imported from a tool manufacturer. In my example, I'm creating a half an inch solid mill chatter free by importing the step file from Iskar. It is a four flute end mill with different helix. 35 and 37 degrees, and a variable pitch for chatter dampening. The tool is used for very high material removal rates, roughing and finishing operations. Full slot milling is up to two times the diameter. In the tool manager, I'm going to make a right mouse click and select create tool. It's going to be a flat end mill. I'm going to select import custom geometry from a file icon. I'm going to select the step file that I downloaded from Iskar. And I'm going to change the cutting length to 1.5 and the shoulder length to 1.75. Next, I'm going to change the feed rate to 50. I'm leaving plunge rate 25 inches per minute, uh, retract rate 50 inches per minute, and the spindle speed, I'm going to change it to 5,750 RPM. These uh, feeds and speeds are for uh, mild low carbon steel. Before I finish, I could also change the manufacturer name. This is uh, its car and I could enter the manufacturer's tool code. I'm just going to finish. Next, you can do a right mouse click on the tool and select Save Assemblies to Library to save this tool to the current uh, library. You can save the tool in a tool assembly or you can just save it as a separate tool. Make sure that you always save uh, the tool in the library, otherwise uh, the tool will be available just for the current file. This concludes the quick tip of the day. Thank you for watching.